What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn what is power performance function of engine. So without spending much time, let's start now. The maximum attainable power PE of internal combustion engine is the function of engine angular velocity omega e. The function PE equals to PE omega e which is called the power performance function can be estimated by third order polynomial. So we can write PE equals to sigma of i equals to 1 to 3 PI multiply by omega e to the power i. So from here we can write P e equals to P1 multiplied by omega e plus P2 multiplied by omega e square plus P3 multiplied by omega e cube. So this is the power performance function and it is third order polynomial. This power function can be used for comparing different engines at different power and angular velocities. Now if we consider omega m the angular velocity in radian per second at which the engine power reaches the maximum value pm. Then for spark ignition engines, we can write p1 equals to pm divided by omega m, p2 equals to pm divided by omega m square, and p3 equals to minus pm divided by omega m to the power cube. Similarly, for indirect injection diesel engines, we use the following values of p1, p2, and p3. And for direct injection diesel engines, we use these values for p1, p2, and p3. Now we know that the driving torque of an engine TE is given by TE equals to PE divided by omega E. So we can write TE equals to P1 plus P2 into omega E plus P3 into omega E square. So this is a torque by engine that provides PE that is power at particular angular velocity. Let's take an example. Suppose we have two engines. Engine A which is the spark ignition engine having maximum power of 353 kilowatt at omega m equals to 6000 rpm which is approximately equals to 628 radians per second. If we calculate the values of p1, p2 and p3 for spark ignition engine, we will get the following values. Now the engine B which is also spark ignition engine with the maximum power of 377 kilowatt at omega m equals to 6300 rpm which is approximately equals to 660 radians per second. Again calculating the same values p1, p2 and p3 for the spark ignition engine we get the following values. Now putting these values of P1, P2 and P3 in third order polynomial of PE, we get the following equation for engine A and engine B. Now on plotting the curve between power in kilowatt and angular velocity in radians per second, we get the following curve for engine A and engine B. Here the green curve is showing for engine B and the blue curve is showing for engine A. You can see from this curve, you can compare the power of different engine at different angular velocities so for engine A, the maximum power is equals to 352.9 kilowatt at omega m equals to 627.9 radians per second. And for engine B, the maximum power is 376.9 kilowatt at omega m equals to 660 radians per second. So from these curves, you can easily compare the power at different angular velocities. If we take the case of ideal engine performance, it is said that an ideal engine is one that produces a constant power regardless of speed. For this kind of ideal engine, we have P equals to P0, which is constant, which will give the torque equals to P0 divided by omega E. So as you all know, in vehicle dynamics, we introduce gearbox to keep the engine running at maximum power or in a working range around the maximum power. Sometimes another case of ideal engine is also taken, which states a linear relationship between torque and speed. For such an ideal engine, we have torque equals to CE multiplied by omega E where C is some constant and we can write from here P equals to C multiplied by omega E square. Now let's take a case of maximum power and torque at same angular velocity omega m. However, it is impossible to have such an engine. Let's see how. So the maximum torque Tm of spark ignition engine can easily be calculated using differentiation. We can write T equals to P1 plus P2 multiplied by omega E plus P3 multiplied by omega E square. On differentiating Te with respect to omega e, we get P2 plus 2 times of P3 multiplied by omega e equals to 0. So here we get the value of omega e equals to minus P2 divided by 2 times of P3. On putting the values of P2 and P3, we get omega e equals to half of omega m. Now at this value of omega e, we have the maximum torque. The power at this omega e can be calculated easily by putting this into third order polynomial of Pe. We have P equals to 5 by 8 times of Pm. 
So you can see that it is not possible to get the maximum power and maximum torque at same omega e. This is all about the power performance function of engine and now you can easily plot the curve between power and angular velocity for any engine just by knowing the values of maximum power and angular velocity at that power. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.